guys, my name is Lily. I'm the original dog walking mama of Mama Walks Dogs in Colorado Springs, Colorado. And this hungry <laughs> fellow here is my best friend, Odin. Uh, today we're gonna be sharing with you guys an art project. We're gonna be painting some flowers for spring. I'll be taking care of the leaves and stems. And then, Odin, sit. Thank you. <laughs> and then Odin will be using his paws to be doing the blossoms. This is a fantastic project to bond with your dog, and it's also great for helping your dog get used to their paws being handled. It's so important that whenever you're going to the vet or the groomer that your dog is comfortable and doesn't have a traumatic experience. And then also you don't want your dog freaking out when you're on that hiking trail trying to take a cactus needle or a stick tight out of their paws. All right, let's get our materials together and let's get started. Dog treats. I have these little jerky ones that you can break up into tiny pieces. And that's to reward your pup for letting you touch their paws. You need some non-toxic paint. So I think dog paws look like irises. So I've got some purple, and I'm going to be doing a little bit of white, and some yellow. And then i got a couple different greens for the stems I want to do. And then you need some wipes to wipe their paws off to keep the project clean. Um, you only actually need one brush unless you want to come in and do some fine detail work, but you need a paintbrush. And then you need a paper plate to use as your palette to put your paint on. And then I'm also going to be having us do the project on a paper plate as well, so it looks kind of like a project that a kid comes home from preschool with. You can use canvas. I've got a, like a teeny tiny stretched canvas. This is what we use for a lot of our clients. Uh, so they can have something nice to hang on their wall. And then you also need a container, hey, Jordan, a container to put a little bit of water in so you can take care of your paintbrushes. I would try and get something small and shallow. You don't want anything big. That way if your dog's getting a little crazy, you're not having a giant mess to clean up if they knock it over. I, there you go. So Odin is ready for some treats and for some painting action. So we're gonna get started by doing our stems first. Probably want to get that wet. There we go. Okay. Hold up, hold up. I know we're gonna do your part in just a moment. Yes, yes. Let me get the stems. Yes. Yes. So I'm just doing something real quick. Don't mind my artistic or lack of <laughs> ability. I know. I know. Okay. So Odin says it is time to go. So we're going to first sit here. Odin, sit. Okay, good boy. Let me have this paw. Here he is. Good job. There he is, yeah. So I've got his paint ready for his paw print. I have about the size of his paw, just a tiny bit smaller, because of course it will spread. That's a good boy, Dan. I know, hold up, hold up. <gasps> Come here, you guys see it? Hold it, see it, hold it, see it. Thank you. Oh, hold up, hold up. Let's get his paw cleaned up here real quick. Come here, buddy. Yeah, that's a good boy. Didn't it? It's okay. Good job. There we go. Good boy. All right. So now that we've got his little paw cleaned, yes, check out the beautiful art he made. So we use multiple different colors. Um, once it dries, you can touch up and do whatever tiny refinements that you'd like to do. But that's the project. Oh, buddy. Come here, Odin. Can you sit? <laughs> Good boy. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please uh, like and subscribe to our channel and comment below. Let us know what you think. Have a great day. Thank you. Bye-bye.